the week four, discussion two, you can see the prompt here. As the manager of a small office, you want to introduce a new dress code policy for casual days. What steps would you take to validate why casual days should be allowed? Please explain the process you would use to construct a valid argument for casual days based on logic and reasoning. And then you've got some um, words of encouragement for your replies. So for this prompt, um, you think you might talk about, so one, we're not necessarily saying why we think um, we should have casual days, but we're talking about how do we validate it? How, what steps would we take? So I think the first step, and I'm gonna just do a little brainstorming here. I think our first step is going to have to be we're going to research the pros and cons of casual dress days. Um, we want to make sure that we've um, looked at what other businesses say about how casual dress day have affected their business. Um, and we can look at that from the employee standpoint, from the employer, from the client, from the customer, any of those are fine as long as we approach it from that way. I think then we need to um, brainstorm all ideas of how to implement casual dress days. So meaning we might come up with an idea that says every Friday is a casual dress day. We may come up with an idea that says once a month is an, a, a casual dress day. Um, that I think is really where we're going to get all of these ideas and then you're going to see we need to once we have brainstormed all the ideas um, we need to reduce our options to the top five ideas I think this is important because instead of looking at 20 different ideas, we can just be looking at five. And this will give us a good idea, um, more manageable. Um, I think then after we reduce our options down to five, Then we can start looking at the pros and cons of the top five ideas. So we're kind of going back through our list to see if, you know, is that something we really, really want to do? Or is it something we were just kind of sort of maybe those kinds of things? Okay, and then once we've looked at the pros and cons of the top five ideas, we'll go ahead and choose one of the options. We'll make a plan, make a plan to implement the option we chose. And then make a plan to evaluate the effectiveness of our option. Meaning, did it accomplish what we what we said we wanted it to?
I think we've got some good ideas here. We could probably formulate this into a really well set out um, discussion piece. And then, of course, we've got some good words of encouragement here about our replies. So when you reply to others, be sure to think about the implications of the dress code policy that they suggested. And is there anything about those policies that could be discriminatory or um, unethical? Anything we need to consider that we have not necessarily considered? Well, I hope that helps with the week four discussion too. We've got lots of good opportunities this week to do well with your discussions. And I hope just our brainstorming here has given you something to think about as you are looking to um, put your ideas together on paper. If there's something that I can do to help, please feel free to reach out. That's what I'm here for. Uh, we want to see you be successful, and these discussions are just one way to do that. So feel free to reach out if I can help in any way. Thanks, everyone. Hope you have a